Hi, my name is Elise. And my name is Kim. And we chose to do our book project on poetry. We chose poetry because it is our favorite genre, and we love poems by Chaucer. Um, we love poetry, but you don't have to. There are many different genres to pick from, such as poetry, science fiction, autobiography, informational, mystery, realistic fiction, fantasy, and biography. Choose your favorite and read, read. Then when you're done with that, read some more. Here is an example of our um, one of my favorite poems. Come into the sauna. No, thank you. I don't want to. There's an iguana in the sauna. I still don't want to. There's a prana in the sauna. Now I really don't want to. Okay, the iguana to save the prana and the shark to save the iguana. So now you can come into the sauna? Now I'm never going to. And that's shot in the sauna by Shel Silverstein. Why is eating good for you? Reading is great for you because it expands your mind, improves your spelling, improves your reading comprehension, expands vocabulary, and those are just a few examples. Suggested books. Finally, by Wendy Mass. The Retires by Rachel Renee Russell. Diary of a Wonder Kid by Jeff Kinney. Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And Eleven by Lauren Miracle. Um, next, we're going to read one of our poems that we picked out from our book. This book is called Falling Up by Shel Silverstein. And this poem is called Short Kid. This is on page 101. They said I'd grow another foot before I reached the age of 10. It's true, I grew another foot. Guess this is what they really meant. And here's another book. Uh, it's called 100 Poems About People by Eleanor Parker. And on page 117, uh, this, is called the old, this is called The Old Lady. The old, old lady that nobody knows sits in the garden shelter and sews. Save for her restless finger, she is cold and still as ivory. The chestnut blossom blown on her dress uh, seems only a sculptor's cleverness. This is by Humbert Wolf. That poem.